it's not like any other business where you just go and open a restaurant and you make food and you're fine and then you just go home and go to bed. The idea for a venom laboratory or a medtoxin venom laboratory really came to me probably as a little boy. My father called me into the TV to watch Bill Haas catching cobras down at the Miami Serpentarium and I can remember seeing that segment and thinking that's the plan. It was just a matter of how to get there. And the original plan was to start my own lab. <laughs> and I laugh now looking back at how naive I was because I had no idea what I was talking about. I had no idea. I had 350 venomous snakes in a number of bedrooms. I had the laboratory equipment in the kitchen. We were collecting venom unbeknownst to most people at that time and slowly began selling venom to Bill Haast. Somewhere coincidentally in there I met George Van Horn at Reptile World and really began to think seriously about how I was going to build my own operation and fund my operation. It's a lot of work. It's farming and you need a lot of money to start a venom lab. I had a question not too long ago and they said, do you consider yourself a scientist? And I had to think about that for a minute and I thought I probably am more uh, accurately described as a factory worker. Maintaining a 900 specimen reptile collection with 800 more of those snakes being snakes that can inflict injury or in fact kill you requires a significant amount of attention and it, it is a tremendous amount of labor. And today when we have people that come and ask us, I want to start my own lab, I kind of laugh <laughs> myself and think I, I thought the same thing, but it's, it's nearly impossible. I learned when I came here and I was just like, yeah, there's no way I can open my own venom lab. 